Google rejects the idea of retail stores, an HTC Tiara Windows phone gets rumored, and Apple ad experts admit that Samsung is making a dent on their advertisement. I'm Jaime Rivera, and by the time I was watching the game, we were sadly losing one to nil. This is Pocket Now Daily. Well, after Apple launched the retail stores more than a decade ago, and then Microsoft pretty much followed the trend, it only made sense for Google to be the next company to launch their own stores, right? Well, the rumors were filled with that a couple of days ago, but sadly, Andy Rubin just came on record to say that the company is not building stores, even with the fact that they have their own Nexus products now. And the reason why is, well, just think about it. Google's a web company. Wouldn't it be an irony for the company that's on the web to be selling things on stores and not on the web? Now let's talk about HTC. The company still seems committed to Windows Phone 8, or as the new codename HTC Tiara could prove because the device apparently is on the works and the great question is what to expect. Sadly, the spec sheet looks kind of terrible. We have a device coming out here with a WVGA display, so you can't expect for this device to be a mid-tiered phone. The question is when will we get it? Stay tuned. MWC is pretty much over, so we won't get it there, so probably get it in the next couple of months. We'll keep you posted. Now, speaking of Windows Phone, aside from the cheap Nokia device announcements that we talked about yesterday, Nokia also featured the fact that they've made the bold move of actually becoming more of a software company. If any of you remember, we had the Here Maps application coming to Android and iOS, which brought Nokia Maps to iOS and Android. And now the company is also doing the same for Windows Phone, except that they did it for Nokia Navigation, Nokia Maps, and Nokia Transit, aside from other applications which are now being dubbed Here Maps, Here Navigation, Here Transit, and everything else. The software is, well, it's still in the beta stage. Everything is still being tested. We have a full video walkthrough of that from Michael Fisher, so stay tuned and hit the links in the description for details. Now, how many of you remember the Yoda phone? Remember that concept device where you had an LCD display on one side and an e-ink display on the other, and the device could actually be powered by the battery on one side, but then on the other side, you don't really need much power at all? Well, the device is already live at MWC 2013, and Michael Fisher had a lot of time to demo the unit, and even though it seems quite compelling, it begs to wonder if this will be a concept that will ever actually take off. I mean, the device actually looks good, but I wonder how well that e-ink display will take a beating after you actually use it in your pocket. So make sure you hit the links in the description for Michael's full video. And aside from that, we have 33 MWC 2013 videos. So also hit the links for the playlist down below because there is a lot of content that I can't cover on this show too much. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, can you believe that Apple's advertisement guru for almost 14 years, Adam Segal, who worked alongside with Steve Jobs, just came on record to state that Samsung's new Galaxy advertisement is actually quite effective at actually making a dent in Apple's strategy. And just think about it, I mean, Apple is an iconic company when it comes to advertisement. Their 1984 ad for the Macintosh is still being considered the best advertisement in history, even if you can believe that. But the point being is that apparently the new Samsung Galaxy ads are actually extremely effective and as Adam Segal said, they're hitting a nerve. But that leads me to the question of the day. How well or how much have you actually liked these Samsung ads? In my particular case, I'll plead guilty. I mean, I pretty much got the Galaxy Note 2 with the whole uh, unicorn, uh, I forgot the name of the ad advertisement. I mean, I do believe that their ads are quite well. I consider myself a victim of them, but leave us a comment down below. How about you? And as always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Even though we never thought that Apple would release a 7-inch tablet, the iPad mini is finally among us, and even though it's a good tablet, we do know that it lacks key elements like a retina display, so is it still worth your buying dollar? Join us on Thursday, February 28th for the iPad mini, after the buzz.